and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be unboxing the Tinker Crate and I'm just really excited to get into this box and see what it has in store for us this month. So if you're new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to do unboxings like we're doing today, to give you curriculum and organizational ideas and also ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button and let's open this crate. Okay, so the crate this month is a drift motorcycle, which just sounds really cool. It says build a motorcycle and tinker with drifting and friction. So I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> so when we open it up, this is what it looks like. We have our little blueprints on top with an image of what it looks like our finished product is going to be right there. So this is our instructions. So we have all of our instructions right here. And again, I mentioned it before, I just love how they come on blueprints. I think it's so fun. And then we have our little booklet, our little magazine that comes with all of them, except I think the doodle crate. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's a lot of fun in here. It has additional activities. It says burning rubber down here. So it has our motorcycle, but then it'll give some different history behind it. It'll give you some different science ideas. Here's an extra craft you could make using your box. So there's a lot of good stuff in here. And then we have tape. I think this is tape. It's kind of what it looks like right there. And we have some wood pieces for our car and our little battery pack. Sorry, it's so loud and crinkly. And some zip ties. And then probably this goes to our engine that's run off of the battery power. And then we have a little bit of foam, foam pieces and some rubber bands right here. And I think these are our wheels, actually. That's what they look like from the picture. So some of the wheels and some other parts and pieces to the car. And I think that's it besides battery instructions. So if you don't know how to use batteries, you should read this. <laughs> and so I'm excited to let my son build this and just see, see how it goes. I think it's a really fun idea. So I'm gonna let him get at it and we will let you know how it goes. Okay, so Mazer finished doing the Tinker Crate and it was a lot of fun. This is the first toy in a long time that I've seen him play a really long time with. All the kids were having a blast with it. It was going all over the house. So let me hold it up and show you. So if you remember, it's the motorcycle, the drift motorcycle. So this was pretty easy for him to build. I feel like it only took about 20 to 30 minutes maybe to put it together. And he did it basically all by himself. And then, after you build it, you can let it roll around on just the plain tires and it'll just basically spin in circles because it's smooth and there's very little friction, so it drifts a lot. Or it came with tape. There's still a lot of tape left. Sorry, I put it in a bag. So there's still quite a bit of tape there. And so you can put tape on the wheels and see how it's different. So I liked how there's a lot of oh, experimentation going with this. What well, if we do this, what will happen? If we do this, what will happen? So my kids had a fun time playing around with that. And then in this book, it also suggests that you can build a little ramp. Let me show you the picture. Well, they have it like a whole, like you went to a monster truck rally. That's what it reminds me of. So there's this picture, but if you look up here, if you can see that, it's like this whole arena that they set up. And they built, you know, the whole wall and everything out of cardboard. So we didn't do all of that. We just did the box. And so he has the box right here that he kind of built as a ramp. And then he had some, we have some little cups. So he set those up to let the drift motorcycle hit it. And so it was a lot of fun. I'm excited for them to still play with this. It takes a little getting used to because it does drift. So it just goes off to like one side and all of a sudden it's all over the house. It's really, really fast. So if it doesn't like tip on its side, it just keeps going because it will hit stuff and just keep going. So that was, the kids loved it. They loved chasing it all over the house. And then something else I thought was cool, it talks about what drifting is here. 
And so if you're not as familiar with it, if you don't know what it means, you can look here. My kids were all like, does that mean it's going to float like in water? Cause drift like drift wood. <laughs> and I'm like, it's sort of like it floats on the road, sort of. That's kind of, it's a similar idea, I guess. But so if you're not sure what it is, you can read about it here and it says, you know, it's not safe to do unless you're a professional. So it's trying to teach us to be cautious. I wouldn't like to do it anyways, because I am a more cautious person and like to have control of my car. <laughs> and so then it goes through all the history too of different types of motorcycles and different things like that. I just thought this was a cool resource if you wanted to learn more. And then it goes through kind of the mechanics and everything of the motorcycle that they built. So I thought that was a lot of fun. Again, there's several extra supplies here. So if you need some extra supplies or if your rubber bands break, because we have some rubber bands here, if they break or your zip ties come loose or whatever, then you're able to take it apart. And like I said, it was super easy for him to put this one together. It didn't require that much help at all. And the wires were easy. I feel like this was one of the easiest ones we've had in a while where he doesn't really need my help. And it was just, so much fun for my kids. They really, really, really enjoyed it. And I'm excited for them to be able to keep playing with it. And so I'm excited to see what next month brings with the Tinker Crate. I might eventually have to get him the Eureka Crate because I feel like this one might be getting too easy. At least some of the projects are. So maybe we'll think about that when this subscription is done. But if you like seeing these kind of videos, please give us a thumbs up and we will see you next time.